We have a background displayed and we have a planet displayed. Let's see about moving them around. Actually, we'll leave the background in place. We'll just move the planet around. And since I already have these fancy schmancy functions already set up, and down here at the bottom we're actually calling one of them, let's go ahead and just try that out uh, just to get started in using functions. So right up here, is this is going to call start game. So inside of start game, let's move the planet. Let's make the planet move. Corona SDK has this cool thing called transition to. Transition to, you pass it some different parameters. One of the parameters that you pass is the name of the object you want to move. Well, in this case, it's going to be the planet. And it's called planet because remember up here, we set a variable named planet that equals the display object of that planet picture. So we have planet, and then inside of planet is a table. Now, if you didn't go through the Lua boot camp, you might not know what tables are, so you're going to get lost right here. Uh, so you might want to pause this, go do the Lua boot camp thing that I mentioned earlier, and come back. But inside the table, we have different parameters, and one of those is an amount of time. So we're going to say time equals 2,000. 2,000 what? That's 2,000 milliseconds, which in our real world equals 2 seconds. So what you're saying is that transition 2 is going to take planet, and over the course of 2 seconds, it's going to do something with it. Now, what is it going to do? Well, we already know how to change the x and the y coordinates. Back up here, we set it to the center of the screen. Well, transition 2 can change the x and y coordinates here. So let's change the y coordinate. And let's say that the y coordinate is going to equal 300. And in fact, we won't even change anything else. Let's just go there. What we have here now is a call to transition to. It's saying, take the planet, and over the course of two seconds, change it so its y coordinate is 300. So start it from wherever it is, change it to 300. Let's go ahead and run this and see what it looks like. You know what might be cool? is let's let's do this different let's start let's start the uh, planet off the screen and rise it onto the screen and see how that looks so back up here when we first set the y instead of setting it at center y we'll set it at display dot content height which is uh, coincidentally enough this height here we'll do it to that height plus half of the half of the planet which is 50 and just make sure it's underneath there completely we'll do 60 so now it's going to start off the screen and we need to raise it up to center y this is what's cool about transition 2 it'll take it from wherever it is now and move it to wherever you want it so let's go ahead and try this Okay, that's kind of cool. And just for the fun of it, that might be a good intro for the game when the game first starts. Uh, and just for the fun of it, let's do the same thing with background. We're setting the background right now. We're setting the uh, Y to center Y and the X to center X. Let's see if we can... This is a big background, so why don't we see if we can actually start it up above and we'll have it kind of move down at the same time that the planet is moving up. So let's get rid of this, and we will create a second transition to. And this one's going to be the background. So we're going to move the background. Same two seconds. And now Y is going to be center Y, and X equals center X. All right, let's just see where that goes. It's not going to be exactly, I'm not starting it above and moving it down, but let's just see what happens, see what that looks like. Uh, that's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and set this the y background dot y equals zero. So it'll be up at the top of the screen. And fortunately, our background is large enough. It's actually sixteen hundred by twelve hundred that we can we can say it's at the top of the screen and it should still cover the whole screen. I think this is experimental right here. This is something I just thought of in the middle of doing this course. I didn't pre-plan this, so I don't know exactly know what's going to happen. That, not quite. Okay, so we need to set background y equals, let's set it to uh, 100. Will that do it? Almost. Let's set it to 130. 
trial and error, boys, trial and error. Okay, that's pretty cool. But let's do this. Let's say the plan is going to take three seconds. How's this going to look? Yeah, yeah, it looks better. It looks better when they're both the same, I think. All right, let's see what we have here. That's neat. All right, now we've seen how using Transition 2, we can actually move things around the screen. So let's stop there. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to tweak some of the other things, other properties of these display objects. We've already tweaked the, the X and the Y value to position it on the screen and to move it on the screen. But there's a lot more that can be done and a lot more from even that can be done inside of this Transition 2. So we'll get into that in the very next video.